in order to have a deeper understanding about Rutherford's experiment, we would have to talk about another great scientist, J. J. Thomson. Sir J. J. Thomson or Sir Joseph John Thomson, 1856 till 1940, proposed the plum pudding model, which had negatively charged electrons embedded within a positively charged pudding. Below is an example of the plum pudding model. Now, let's talk about Sir Ernest Rutherford, 1871 till 1937. He conducted a gold foil experiment also known as the Alpha Particle Scattering Experiment, to check whether Sir J. J. Thompson's model was correct. Let's have a look how Sir Ernest Rutherford's experiment looked like. As you can see, there are alpha particles, a gold foil, and a fluorescent screen. Rutherford's plan was to hang up a thin sheet of gold and surround it with a screen that could detect alpha particles. He would then fire alpha particles at the sheet and the alpha particles would eventually hit the screen and be detected. From the marks made by the alpha particles on the screen, he would work out the structure of the atom. Rutherford predicted that if Thompson's model was correct, all the alpha particles would pass straight through the gold atoms and make a mark directly behind the gold sheet. Well, before I move further, I would like to ask you a question. Why did Rutherford choose alpha particles instead of using any other particles? Well, he chose alpha particles because they were small and positively charged, which would allow him to test Thomson's model of an atom. Another question that arises here is that why did Rutherford use a gold foil? Well, he had chosen gold because it is a malleable metal and is extremely thin. Well, when Rutherford fired alpha particles at the gold sheet, he found astonishing results. Some particles rebounded, some got deflected, and some went directly straight and made a mark directly behind the gold sheet. You can now see a particle gun, a gold foil, and a circular detector. And you can see how the particles are being rebounded, deflected, and some are going straight through. Well, what did the gold foil experiment prove? It proved that the atom has mostly empty space with a comparatively tiny, massive, positively charged nucleus in the center. Rutherford's experiment also proved that the plum pudding model was wrong because if the plum pudding model was correct, then the alpha particles would directly make a mark behind the gold sheet.